What's up, family? Welcome to Speak. Now we have a new front runner for the most prestigious award in the NFL. Lamar Jackson has taken over as the MVP leader. You got to be consistently good to be great. And Lamar has been so consistently good that I will say it's his MVP to lose because everybody else has already lost it. At the beginning of the season, these were the quarterbacks in contention for the award. But remember, due to injury, Rodgers, he out of there. Herbert, he out of there. Deshaun, he out of there. Burrow, He's out of there. So those four have lost it by nature of getting hurt. But then as the season progressed, other quarterbacks have lost it by nature of their play. Patrick Mahomes loses to the Eagles. That's when he lost the award week 11. After Patrick Mahomes, Josh Allen, he lost as well to the Eagles. They were 6-8. and eight. Of course he lost the award then. Then Jalen Hurts, he was a front runner. But the Niners gave him that work. He is out of there. Jalen Hurts, you got to go. Then we thought for a moment it was going to be Tua Tungabayaloa. But when Tyreek Hill got hurt, we saw Tua. You lost to the Titans? Nah, big dog. You got to go. We thought it was all on Dak Prescott and America's team, but Dak Prescott got beat down by the Bills. So then there were two. Brock Purdy, Jalen, no, nope, Brock Purdy, Lamar Jackson. And Brock Purdy, well, big dog, you got to go. Which means there is one man standing, Lamar Jackson, atop of the NFL MVP throne. Two more big games left. If he loses it, we'll talk more about it then. But as of now, it's Lamar's to lose. Heading to the desk. Christmas is uh, over, man. I'm a little dejected. <laughs> a little dejected. James, how are you? How I'm, are you? I'm good, my brother. Lamar Action Jackson went to work on Christmas Day. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I feel good. That's the Super Bowl champ. To his right, the brilliant Joy Taylor. Still in the Christmas spirit, I see. And so are you. You're wearing green. Oh, we oh, we yeah, swapped colors. So that's sweet. Yeah. That's sweet. That's sweet. Have you all had a Merry Christmas? I, I thought she was wearing red today. Uh. You know, like nine and red. Oh, gang, gang. Oh, no. Did it work? Oh. Eagles all-time Russian leader, LaShawn Shady McCoy. Well, let's get to the show. James, you saw I just hold did on, this. Hold on, 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 hold on. I appreciate all the introductions, but when the Eagles win, fly, Eagles fly. We of got course. Eagles and all that on no the doubt. set. Which I don't even really like birds and all that, but my man Lamar Action Jackson went to work. We, we don't did. get no Raven or none of that. I know you bang, bang, Niner game, but we don't get no Raven or none of that. I was trying either. to forget. Mm. I was, what are you saying? You think we should grab a Raven? One hundred percent. I think a Raven should be up here. Where right next to Shay. Wait, wait. Where, where at though? Right next to Shay. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. What? See, right, hold on, man. Hey, All right, we got to punish that side of the right. table for oh, picking the night. Oh, 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 he's hungry. Oh. <laughs> oh, hey, buddy. There he is. There he is. Oh, see, he knows. He knows. This side of the table, slim. pick Baltimore. We did. That side of the table picked San Fran, so he gonna chill by y'all just to say, y'all picked the wrong people. No, <laughs> but I'm saying, like, he gotta be more, he gotta be more disciplined, though. See, Slim, Slim sit there and especially relaxes. No, that's oh, how we no. want him. That's how we want him. Yeah. The Raven not a discipline. That, that's how we want him. He's active. Here. Yeah, that's hey, how look, we man, want him. you on our show, all right? So, hey, <laughs> hey ooh, look at this beat. You wanna know what's crazy? He like Lamar. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I can catch him. Well, speaking of Lamar, let's talk about him because James Jones going into the game yesterday, Brock Purdy was the MVP front runner based upon Vegas' odds. Yep. Right now, it is Lamar Jackson far and away. Lamar Jackson ball yesterday. Is it his award to lose? Absolutely. I, I mean, we see with our <laughs> own two eyes Lamar Jackson be the best player on the field with a lot of MVP talent on the football field. For the San Francisco 49ers, a lot of talented player for the Ravens. And after that game, it was very, very clear who the best player on the field was by far. <clears throat> and that was Lamar Action Jackson. It is his award to lose the way, the way he performed. I mean, with his legs, with his arms, making everybody around him better. It's his award to lose, but it's a guy on his heels, though. Who that? Ooh. And that is Josh Allen. Josh you, Allen. You just said that? Yes. And, and I said it, and it don't even hurt me to say it no more, Shady. He, um, he might have 50 touchdowns. Yeah, he got 40 right now. So, got, so when I say that he's, he's that good, he's that great. The, yeah, are, I, I ain't saying I'm on the roller coaster, but. <laughs> <laughs> you in the, the line, though. You know, I might be in the line. Like, this, this, this ride look fun. But Josh Allen is right on the seals. But to lose, Lamar Action Jackson showed the world on Christmas Day. Mm, but, that but, is his award. Before Joy goes, I just yeah. want to say this. Yeah. Right. Wait, first of all, what's, what's his name? Or she, I think that's action. Action? Is, action? is, is, is his action. real name Edgar? It is. Yeah, right, so yeah. His real so, name's Edgar, so, but we're going to so, call him action. Yeah, that's so, action. No, so Edgar or action? Action. It's action. It's his real name's Edgar. We're going to call scared. him Edgar, but we're going to call him action. He got the Hold on. No, I don't have scared. <laughs> Oh, he's, he's super cocky, though. He is. He's an Eric. He's yeah. a gun, ain't he? Yeah. He want to rub it in, right? We, we know you won. We know that. <laughs> Dang, bro. Should we do the show? <laughs> mm -hmm. My bad. He's, 
Brain, <laughs> brain about it. Slim, Slim was uh, Slim was yeah. ready to be on TV. Slim had been there before. Action, though. action's like. Slim was like, I'm gonna get my FaceTime. Slim was the Super Bowl before Joy Taylor. Hey, you saw this attention. It was the bright lights and all that. Oh man. You know what I'm saying? This other guy over here does. I mean, he feels good. You know, his feathers is all shiny. Yeah, and he's like getting all like bite. You know what I mean? Yeah, he's trying to like. Well, Joy Taylor, Lamar Jackson, he had his chest out yesterday. Mm -hmm. Yes, he did. He had his chest out yesterday, leading the Ravens to a dominant win over the 49ers. But now is he dominating the MVP race in your mind, or at least is it his to lose? Yeah, I think it's his to lose right now. I I do think that we are not going to be able to really make a true determination on who the MVP is until the end of the season. Obviously, we do a daily show, so that makes it a little difficult. We don't have all the evidence yet. This MVP race this year has been extremely tight. It's moved week to week. Brock Purdy has a bad game. Now all of a sudden Lamar Jackson's the MVP. Last week, if we said Lamar Jackson was the MVP, everyone would have run us off television. They'd have run us off Twitter. Blocking everybody. It's over. (laughs) Stop. Fire them. That's how it goes. So the the fact that it's been that close, the fact that we've had this much conversation about who the MVP should be just shows you that it's closer than we think. We didn't know what this Baltimore team was going to look like going into San Francisco, which is a very, very hard place to play. They got dogs everywhere, but so do the Ravens. And when you saw what that's like, when you get someone who is as talented as Lamar Jackson on a field where he's got to prove it, he stepped up. So he's definitely at the top of the MVP conversation now, but... Mm. I want to see how the rest of the season goes. It's been too close all season long to say that it's completely locked up. 2-5, I know you do not like that it has been quarterback-driven. You obviously yeah, yeah. were an all-decade running back. You're the Eagles' all-time rushing That's leader. Me. You had t- over 20 total touchdowns in a season before. You had 17 rushing touchdowns in a season before. You appreciate the likes of McCaffrey. You appreciate the likes of Tyreek Hill. But you also appreciate the likes of Lamar Jackson. Yeah. Is it his to lose? I will say this. If we're talking about the quarterback award, for the best team in football, then yes, right? Because I still think Tyree Hill, he probably won't get the 2,000 yards because that's still a lot. But he can still get the um, all-time receiving yards, mm-hmm. right, from Calvin Johnson. He can get that. And that's big to me. His team is second in the AFC. Yeah. Like, all that matters to me. But if we're just talking about this quarterback award, you got to go with Lamar Jackson. Mm-hmm. Think about this. The, the moment was set to see who was going to be the MVP. Yep. Mm-hmm. Brock Purdy's all we talked about. Yep. I said it. Like, there's nobody as a quarterback playing better than Brock Purdy. Mm-hmm. And no matter if it's the system or whatever, it's Kyle Shanahan or the players around him, he was balling. Yes, sir. Till last night. Mm-hmm. Right? Till last night. Mm-hmm. And let's talk about this last, last question or last, last point. Fred Warner was there, yep. right? Chase Young, yep. Rock Purdy, yeah. Trent Williams, yeah. Odell Beckham, yeah. you got Bosa, you got Raekwon Smith, yep. you got Debo, yep. and all these players. Mm-hmm. The best player on the field easily. Easily. Was Lamar Jackson. Yeah, so when you talk about the MVP, yeah. we can always talk about the stats and all this and that and the third, but playing on the big moments, having MVP moments, yeah. that's what he gave you. Yeah. And all these stars he watched, all these fancy yeah. footballs and all that type of things, he was the only one that shined bright last night. He won this game no on the road. He beat the best team in football. I'm going to say that. The best team in football we watched on both sides of the ball, he went there on the road and dominated. Mm. Five and a half point underdog. Yeah. Yeah. So if you ask me, is it his award to lose? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Because Brock Purdy was running it. Yeah. And he came and took it. Yeah. Action, what you think? You think it's uh you think it's Lamar's to lose or he, he just yeah. getting caught. Can I, uh, he's still bragging though. <laughs> can I, can he's like, I, yeah, it was Lamar. Can I show some Duh. of this stuff of, of how special Lamar is though? We here. Can I show special. some of this Lamar stuff? I mean, since too. we got a Raven in the building, but this is the Lamar Action Jackson effect right here. Y'all disrespected mm. us. We 11 and 3, mm. they 11 and 3, and y'all got us five. Yo, he hungry. Point you just got up. Hey, he ain't Niner snack. Look at you it. got a female <laughs> Niner snack. Yeah. You got a female Niner snack. You got a female Niner snack. That's disrespectful. Yeah. The, Ra- the Ravens came and they showed out last. Okay, did you see Kyle Shanahan's face? Oh, go ahead, go ahead. You see his face though? Uh, Devastated. Defeated. Mm. Took the fight out of the, the, out of the Niners. Out of and all it's your boys, but I had never seen the Niners look like that. Mm-hmm. They couldn't do nothing Why? right. It has been, I would have to go back to last year's Niners game versus look, look, look the at Chiefs. It. It's okay, man. I know you played like, like, like crap today, but hey, we all have them games. <laughs> I know you had three picks. I'm sorry. I know you had four picks, but you'll get it next time. <laughs> That's what he's saying for yeah. right there. Yeah. I... I'm a little bit worried about Brock, Brock Purdy. Worried. I'm not worried because I think he's a bad player. I said this yesterday on social media. I said, look, your opinion of the MVP race should change, but your opinion of Brock Purdy should not change. However, in the four losses this year for the 49ers, Brock Purdy got three touchdowns and nine interceptions. 
And in the 11 wins for the 49ers, Brock Purdy has 26 touchdowns and two interceptions. I do not like the juxtaposition there. Mm. When the Niners lose, Brock Purdy has nine interceptions in those four games. So I'm concerned, James, because I'm looking at it like this. NFC Championship game last year, Brock Purdy got knocked out. Mm -hmm. This year against the Ravens, biggest game this season, Brock Purdy got knocked out. Now, even before he got knocked yeah, out, yeah, yeah. he threw four interceptions in three quarters. Yeah. Two of those, I believe, were great plays by the Ravens. Two of those, Brock Purdy, you can be better and avoid that from happening again. So I'm not concerned because I think Brock is bad. But biggest game last year, hurt. Biggest game this year, hurt. Four picks, no touchdowns. Are you at all, and should the Niners, more importantly, be worried about Brock? No. Mama said it'd be days like this. <laughs> Mama did say that. Mama said it'd be days like this. Mama be known, too. <laughs> Mama be known. Mamas know everything, man. Listen, the young fella went out there. He ran up against the best defense in football. Yeah. Yes, it was two of those throws that it's like, okay, Brock, hey, you're late. It's behind them. Pick. Your fault. Two of the throws is excellent plays Great by play. the Baltimore defense, right? Humphrey's breaking on the pass, even though you shouldn't be throwing it across that your part, body. Yeah. And he, he, broke, he broke on the pass, batted it, tipped in the air, right? The second one, it's a blitz off the nickel, tipped the ball. It's, it's an interception for Humphrey. So... What about the first one? Mama said that days like this happened. That was a bad throw. Was he, a he, terrible. he was late over the middle to Debo Samuels. He was late, but... Brock Purdy has showed us too much good yeah. to say that, okay, he has this one bad game, that's who he is, right? The, Nin like, the Niners are going to go as far as Brock Purdy is going to take them, whether we like it or not. And I know we say he's the fourth best player on the offense or, you know, fifth best player on the team. Whatever you want to say, that's totally fine. But if the Niners are going to get this thing done, Brock Purdy is going to have to be the one to play extremely well. And them numbers don't lie. When he doesn't play well, they lose. Mm -hmm. When he does play well, they win, however it is. Whether it's screens, running the ball, whatever it is. But when he plays well and doesn't turn the football over, they win. I don't think that Brock Purdy we saw last night is the true Brock Purdy. I think that's a bad outing, right? So I'm not ready just to jump down a young fella throat and say, oh, you know, no. Niners in trouble. I'm going to jump down his throat now. <laughs> I, I mean, I don't know how you can go from leading the MVP race to being worried about him in one game. I do think that the questions that we have about Brock Purdy still remain. And it, it seems outrageous to point out that he did lose three games in a row and it was all because of injuries and it was all because of the defense. Like, no, you the quarterback. You should be able to put the team on your back. It started to go badly last night for Brock Purdy. It was one of those nights. I don't think that that is the regular Brock Purdy because we haven't seen that from him Never. regularly. Sure. But, 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 that was a really good team. Mm -hmm. That was their biggest test of the season. And it didn't just go bad. It went awful yep. from everyone, but specifically him. He couldn't have had a worse game. I know, because I had him in fantasy. You know, <laughs> almost cost me the playoffs. It's all good, though. Thank you, Gus Edwards. The point is, you, ha you have to be able to overcome these things. And I don't think you just should be worried about him because this isn't what he consistently does. But what is troubling is, is he's not on that level to put the team on his back and overcome something like yep. that. That's the difference. When we were talking last week about Lamar Jackson and Brock Purdy, mm -hmm. And we were getting into it. Mm -hmm. One team, one one player is playing better. Yep. One player <laughs> is, is better. better. Yeah. And we got an example of what that really means. Yeah. One player is a certified superstar, unanimous MVP, two hundred million dollar man, franchise quarterback. Brock Purdy is building towards that. Doesn't mean he won't become that. Doesn't, no, he's not going to become Lamar Jackson because Lamar Jackson is a different type of player. But that doesn't mean that he's not going to become a franchise quarterback. He's just not there yet. So we need to stop moving people past the, pro the process. We always want to move people up. Oh, he's playing great. He's better than him. Oh, he's, he's had these moments. He's better than him. There's a difference between moments and resume. And that's why I get so upset when people want to erase people's resume. You did all this good and you have a couple bad games and all of a sudden you a buster. No. Lamar Jackson has been playing really good football all season long. Not to the MVP level that we're used to him playing. I know, action. We're going to get to you in a second. Yeah. <laughs> And he, and he showed why he's like that yesterday. But I don't think they should be worried about Brock Purdy. Yeah, that, that's, you guys said some good takes on it, but I, I think Action disagrees. <laughs> <laughs> he so, he so do I. Because I, I, I think that Brock Purdy is a, is a good quarterback, right? And I, I think that um, this game, he had a bad game. And I, everybody has bad games. I've had that, you know. But the only thing I got to look at and I kind of like dissect this whole thing is because when they do have losing games, Mm -hmm. What's the common factor there? Brock Purdy. Brock Purdy. Yeah. So, if you're playing against a top defense, which you're probably going to play a top defense in the playoffs, right. in the championship, the Super Bowl, we need you to ball out. Yeah. And, and I think with Kyle Shanahan, we don't need you to do everything because you have so much around you. Yeah. But when you lose, it's like you're the main reason why. Mm -hmm. So, there's going to be a come a time when the, the Niners, 
They can't have all these great players because mm-hmm. they're going to have to pay a guy like Brock Purdy. Right. He keeps having the success he's having. Then you might have these issues again where you need him to carry you, and he can't. That's a good point. And then when you look at this game, yesterday, it was clear as day. Yeah. Like, the, the main issue here, right, and he had a bad game, and we all have that, and I think he's a good quarterback. But mm-hmm. it's concerning to me when, when we want you to play against the Ravens again, mm-hmm. and it can't look like that. Yeah. That, looked, that was terrible. Yeah. A bad game to me is two picks, right, a couple of misreads, et cetera. That, four, I'll okay, Let me ask you a question. Four. Let me ask you a question. This is a good conversation. Bad game, bad player. What do I mean? Shady, you always say dudes have bad games, and That's you right. say that, and I'm always like, yeah, Shady, but what's the why? Mm. Eagles, they've been having bad games. We'll get to that later. But what's the why? This Brock Purdy conversation might be the most fascinating we'll have all day. When I think about Brock Purdy, I'm like, okay, yeah, but two of those picks, like James said, great plays. I disagree with which two. I think the, 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 the Stevens tip pick, come on, great, great, yeah, play, yeah, by, yeah, yeah. great play by the Ravens. Uh, the other one, when he gets hit, great play by the Ravens. Brock, don't throw it across your body. Don't make that mistake again. Hamilton, first interception. Don't make that mistake again. I bring that up, Shady, to say this. Let's hear this. Is Brock, do you think, like, does he change your view of him as a player? Or was it just like a bad, no, no, that, no, no, that no. game won't happen again? Okay, first of all, I, I don't do it, like, I don't, I don't, each pick, it's a pick, it's a pick. Uh-huh. I'm not the, oh, well, he, he tapped it, he tipped it. They practice these things in practice. There's, there's a drill where you get the ball and they, the, the, the coach will have hands up and all that. You got to find a way to get her, get her fake, mm-hmm. my fake, like, around. around, that's what yeah. they do. Yep. But let's, I'll give you a better scenario. Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs, right? Now, this game was, was a bad game. But if you look at the, his, his, this year, we all thought Patrick Holmes was a really great quarterback. We still do. Yep. Mm-hmm. Right? So when they're losing and they're having bad um, moments on offense, are you blaming him or are you blaming everybody else? Everybody else. Of course. You see them balls, they dropping it. Yep. Tip, uh, they get a pick, like all them type of things. So when I look at Brock Purdy, do you blame the who you blame who you blame the best? on Brock. It's on Brock. Yeah. So if this keeps happening when you're playing against good teams, like we we got to point at you. Yep. The same way we give you that love of patting the back and saying yep. you how nice you is when you 300 yards, yep. three four touchdowns. Four touchdowns, no right. picks, four touchdowns. So my no thing is, if, if, if we're playing a good defense and Debo's not killing it, right? McCaffrey's having a good game, but he's not playing great. The line may miss a block, and I need you to do this. We don't need you to ball up. We don't need you to make plays. And when you're telling me you're only going to make plays against certain teams and not the top defense in the league, that, that don't concern you at all? Here is my concern, James and Joy. It's this. Minnesota Vikings, top 10 defense. Mm. Brock Purdy struggled, lost. Cleveland Browns, number one defense as it pertains to yards. That's what we refer to as total defense. Brock Purdy, Cleveland Browns, Niners lose. Last night, Baltimore Ravens, number one defense as it pertains to points. San Francisco 49ers, they lose. I'm with you to some degree, Shady. It's like, Purdy, when you see those top 10 defenses, either yards or points, losses are had. You see the blowout? This is where the blowout comes in. You said the Browns. You said the Minnesota Vikings. Who else? I said the last night. Ravens. Ravens. So the difference is, what happens when you got a, 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 a $250 million quarterback like you just talked about? Mm. You, got, you got guys that can catch the ball and make plays and, score, and put points up. Then what happens? You turn the ball over, we score points. Mm-hmm. Then it's a blowout like we just seen. But to the, the Browns, yeah, we, you get a turnover, we might run the ball, we get three, we might mm-hmm. get this and that. The, 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 the Vikings, they put yeah. up, what, 22 points? They yeah. really put up, it's real pressure when you're putting real points up. You turn the ball over, we score. Yeah. Now you got to score. Now we can't run the ball with McCaffrey. Right. Mm-hmm. Now he can't have more than 20 carries. Yeah, that's a good point. We got to throw the ball. So point. if you throw picks and they're scoring, now we need you to throw the ball even more. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that's when it becomes a blowout. That's one thing. I think he's a really good quarterback. He's still young. He's yeah. going to grow. He's going to be better. I'm just saying right now today, yeah. you can't watch that game and say, yo, I'm not worried at all yeah. about Brock Purdy. So I think, la- I think last night was very, very clear that Brock Purdy is a good quarterback in this league, but like Joy said, a lot of people was trying to push him to that MVP, that elite I was. conversation. Of course. I was. You know what I'm saying? Strictly of how he was playing. Yeah. I apologize. Last night, it showed that he's not in there. He's not, he's not in that company. And the reason why I say that is because if you are in that elite company, everything ain't got to be right. And that is why I stood over here and took Lamar, as you guys told me, this around Brock. That's around Brock. I said, oh, that's cool. You did say that. But I done seen this dude do it with less. You know what I'm saying? But And Brock showed us yesterday that, number one, he can't do it with less. And number two, he cannot do it coming from behind. He was behind in Minnesota. He was behind in Cleveland. He was behind in Baltimore. And every single time he's behind, that's when a lot of the turnovers show up. There's no reason why you should be throwing that ball across your body. Even if you throw it away, punt the ball. Let's play defense. We got a really good defense. So I think times like that, and he's still a young player, he's still growing. Times like that, bro, it's okay to punt. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. You don't have to try to be over there competing against Lamar Jackson. 
right? You playing against his defense, not Lamar. So you don't got to press like that. I think the games that they, he struggled in, he tried to press and bring the Niners back. No, it's okay. We got a good defense play. So he showed us he's not in that elite conversation, but he's still a young player, got a long way to go. I ain't ready to just, you know, beat him up over that stuff. Well, you might out. Subscribe here to get the latest from Speak and go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.